we're out here at Royal Johannesburg and Kensington Golf Club's East Course. There's been a lot of work and a lot of development and a lot of conversation regarding the East Course and pitch marks on greens. Today we wanted to come out here just to do a small demonstration to show you how to fix a pitch mark correctly. So we've got two pitch marks here. Um, the first one I'm going to repair incorrectly, show you what you shouldn't do. So the wrong way to do it is to put your pitchfork in and lift it up, which actually tears the turf and it takes far longer for it to recover. So I'm just going to carry on doing that. So by doing this you, you're destroying the root system and if it's left it'll end up scarring in the center and it'll, it can take up to three weeks for that to recover. The correct way to do it is to actually start on the outside, go about two centimeters on the outside of the pitch mark and you turn it in like so and just slowly you'll start to see the grass coming together so by fixing your pitch mark like this this will take about 24 hours to recover by fixing it this way it can take up to nearly three weeks to recover if you look at the guys in the background they're busy implementing seed at the moment, which is also not ideal. Um, but this is the effort that the guys have to go through when guys don't fix their pitch marks or fix their pitch marks incorrectly. So members, we're asking for your help. We're asking you to please help us fix pitch marks and more importantly, fix them correctly.